welcome to unlock maths today we are going to discuss this cauchy's homogeneous linear differential equation a differential equation where we have this derivative in decreasing order and this coefficients of this derivatives are here variable yes here we can check that in each term here we have coefficients x raised to n x raised to n minus 1 and so on so this is differential equation with variable coefficients now again we can check that here in each term this index of this x raised to n and the order of this derivative is same yes here we can check that here index of this x is n and this order of this derivative is n same here index of this x variable is n minus 1 and order of this derivative is n minus 1 so yes this is Cauchy's homogeneous linear differential equation and this a0 a1 up to a n these are the constants and this x is a function of x variable so yes this differential equation is Cauchy's homogeneous linear differential equation and we have to find its solution by reducing this differential equation in a differential equation with constant coefficients. So yes, let's proceed for finding the solution. For this first we will write this differential equation in operator form. So here we will write Yes, we have write down this differential equation in operator form where this d is here this d by dx that means here we have dy is equals to this is dy by dx right now this is differential equation with variable coefficients and we have to convert this differential equation in a differential equation with constant coefficients so that we can find its solution for this we have to find the values of this operator here yes Yes, we can check that this differential equation in variable x, right? x is here independent variable. Now for finding the values of this operator, we have to do the substitution. We have to put independent variable x is equals to this e raised to z. That means this differential equation is get converted in variable z, right? So yes, so we have to find the values of z here. So from this one we will get z is equals to this is log of x we have to find the values of this operator so yes we have d is here this dy by dx so by chain rule we can write this is as a dy by dz into dz dx right so from this one we will get this z yes z is equals to log x so dz by this dx we have here 1 upon x yes here we have this dz dx yes so we can put this value here yes now we got this operator dy by dz so we have to put this operator as a d1 right so here we have d1y into this 1 upon x Yes, what we have done, we have put d1 as this d by dz, right. So, yes, we will get this x into dy is equals to d1y. So, we got here x into d is equals to d1, yes. Yes, what is here? d1 is this derivative of y with respect to z. So, in the same manner, we have to find this value x square d square. Yes, we have to find similarly x cube d cube. Yes, for this, yes, we know that what is d square? d square is a double derivative operator. So, yes, we can write this is d square y as a, yes, this is, Yes, we know that what is d2y by dx square, we can write this is, yes. And what is the value of dy by dx? Yes, we have find dy by dx here. So, we can put this value here. Yes, now again, 
we can solve this is by product rule now again by chain rule we can write these values as So yes, we got this value x square d square. So what is here d1? This is operator d by dz, right? So that means we got this value x square d square. This is as a d1 into d1 minus 1. In the same manner, we can find this values as a d1 into d1 minus 1 into d1 minus 2. In the same manner, we can find this x raised to n into d raised to n. Yes. So, yes. We have find this values x into d, x square, d square and so on. By putting all these values in given differential equation. Yes, we will get. Yes, we will get new differential equation in variable z. Yes, and again here this x get changed so that here we will get, yes, we can write this is as a z or we can write this is as a function of z, right? So, this differential equation is get converted in variable z where this value of d1 is here d by dz, right? That means d1y is equals to this is dy by dz. Now, this is differential equation with constant coefficients and we know we can find its solution. Its solution is given by this y is equals to Cf plus Pi. Yes. Yes, we know that we can find this is by previous methods, right? So, we can check that here we will get solution in variable z. So, that means this solution is in the form of variable z, right? This is the solution of this equation 2. Yes. And from this equation 2, we have to write down the solution of this equation 1. So, for this again, we have to put what is z. z is equals to log of x. We have to put this in the solution which we have find for this equation 2. Yes, we have to put the z is equals to log of x. So that we will get required solution which is in variable x, right? So yes, in this way we have to proceed for finding the solution of this Cauchy's homogeneous differential equation. So yes, what we have to do? We have to find the values of this operator by doing the substitution x is equals to e raised to z. Then by putting all this operator, we will get one differential equation in variable z. Then we can find its solution. The solution will get in variable z. And again, we have to put z is equals to log of x so that we will get the solution of this required equation. So yes, let's try one example here. So yes, here we have given this differential equation. So first we will write down this differential equation in operator form. So here we can write this is as a, now we have find value of this is here x into d and this is x square d square. Yes, what is here x into d we have find this is as a d1 and this is d1 into d1 minus 1 where what is this d1 d by dz. Yes, how we got this all values here by putting this x is equals to e raised to z, right? By putting all these values, we got these values, right? So, yes, from this one, we can write this is d1 into d1 minus 1 plus this 3 as it is. Value of x into d, here we have this is d1. This is plus 5 as it is. This is y. And this is 10 minus 4 upon what is the value of x? x is equals to e raised to z. Yes. 
so now we can simplify this equation here so that we got here yes on simplification we got this differential equation yes we have write down this 1 upon e raised to z as a e raised to minus z now we have to find its solution and its solution is given by y is equals to cf plus pi yes now we know that for finding cf we need auxiliary equation an auxiliary equation is given by this is this f of d is equals to 0 by putting this f of d1 is equals to 0 now we have to find the roots of this auxiliary equation when we have this equation ax square bx plus c is equals to 0 its roots are given by this formula so we will apply this formula here for finding the roots yes we got this complex roots yes how the roots are here roots are complex and this different yes so we know we can write it cf now this given differential equation is is in variable z so yes we have to write down cf in variable z so yes it cf is this is Z plus C2 sine of twice Z. Yes, we have write down the C up here. Yes, we know when we have this roots alpha plus minus i beta, we can write C up as. Next, we have to find Pi. Yes, we know that when we have this differential equation, yes, the differential equation in variable x then we have pi is equals to this 1 upon f of d into x right now here we have this differential equation which is in variable z and this is here function of d1 right so yes we will write down this is pi is equals to 1 upon f of d1 and this is here z yes this z is that means this is the yes instead of x we have write down z this is the only notation Yes, this is function of z here. Okay, now we will put down this value of f of d1 and this z. Yes. Yes, now we can check that. We have to operate this 1 upon f of d on this function. Yes. Now we can check that here we have this exponential function. That means we have this is case first when we have x is equals to e raised to ax. Yes. What we have to do, we have to replace this d by, yes, what we have to do in this case first, we have to replace this d by a, a is here, this coefficient of this x. Yes, we have to replace this d by a. So now same here, we have to do, yes, now again here we have this is tan, that means this is a constant and we can write this is in the form of exponential so yes what will we do here first we will separate yes yes now we can write this is as a e raised to 0 z yes this differential equation is in variable z so we have write down here e raised to 0 z yes so what we have to do here now this is exponential case we have to replace this d1 by this coefficient of this variable z so here in first we have to replace this d by yes we have d1 here this is d1 is equals to here 0 and in next what is here we have to do we have to replace this d1 is equals to what this is minus 1 yes we have to do this replacement yes this is by case first yes so here here we will have Yes, so on simplification we have here e raised to 0z that is again 1 
and this is here we have this is yes minus 1 square this is plus 1 this is minus 2 and this is 5 yes and this is e raised to minus z so on simplification we will get this pi is equals to this is 2 minus this is 4 upon yes so here we have yes so we got this is the pi yes now we have to put down cf and pi to get the required solution yes we have to put cf and pi which we have find earlier here yes now we have put down the value of cf and pi so that we got solution of this differential equation 2 yes which is differential equation with constant coefficients but we need the solution of Cauchy's linear equation so what we have to do yes we have done this substitution x is equals to e raised to z that means from this we got this value z is equals to log of x now we have to put z is equals to log of x so that we will get solution in variable x so yes here we have e raised to minus z so what is here x is equals to e raised to z that means x raised to minus 1 is equals to this is or e raised to minus z yes we can find by this way also yes that means from this one we can write this is e raised to minus z as a 1 upon x so we will get this is cos of z yes instead of z we have to write down this is log of x yes here we have this is same here e raised to minus z this is again 1 upon x so yes we got the solution in variable x so this is the required solution for Cauchy's homogeneous linear differential equation so yes how we have proceed for this differential equation this is differential equation with variable coefficients so first we have to convert this differential equation in constant coefficients so for this we have done this substitution x is equals to e raised to z so that we got this value then we have got this differential equation which is in variable z and that is differential equation with constant coefficients so first we have find cf and pi by previous methods and then we got this solution which is in variable z and after that we have done again z is equals to log of x this substitution so that we will get solution in variable x so this is the required procedure for finding solution of Cauchy's homogeneous linear differential equation so yes that's it for now see you in the next video thank you keep watching